This is a challenge to reduce the sound from the sound device inside a box. Challenge Design and create a soundproof box that reduces the volume of a sound making device. Testable goal the sound of the sound making device inside the box is reduced to 30 decibels or less. Sounds are part of our environment. There are many sounds we want to hear, such as your favorite song or a friend's voice. There are some sounds we need to hear, for example, an ambulance or an alarm clock. There are some sounds that we do not wish to hear. For example, continuous barking of a dog, a chainsaw in the early mornings, these do not have a volume knob, but you can control how sounds behave in your surroundings. We all know that sounds travels through air liquid and also solid. Let's see a representation on how sound waves travel. We have a wave machine here. When a sound is emitted, which we show here by tapping on the machine, the sound waves travel ahead. Sound travels in a medium with the help of vibrations of particles in the medium. These vibrations while traveling create a periodic disturbance in the medium. This disturbance travels in the form of waves, which is demonstrated here. When sound waves in the air contact a solid, three things can happen. A. The sound waves get transmitted through it. B. Reflected off of it. Or C. Absorbed by it. A similar example can be seen by using a slinky. A twang, a sound emission results in the disturbance and creation of sound waves. How does sound work in a room? Most rooms have flat walls and flat ceilings and sound bounces off of these. Let us use nerve guns to demonstrate. Our nerve gun will act as the sound waves. We have a figure here as our target. We first aim this nerve gun directly on our target. That is the direct sound that hits our ears. Now let's try and bounce the nerve bullet off the wall onto the target. That is the indirect sound that is bouncing off the walls. Normally, we have six walls in a room that will bounce the sound onto us. So some smooth surfaces reflect the sound. Hard objects reflect sounds, but soft materials absorb sounds and silence them. When sound waves reach a soft material, their energy is soaked up and they travel no further. Things that absorb sound can be useful for reducing noise. Trees are sometimes planted by motorways so that their leaves will reduce the sound of traffic. Walls can be padded with soft materials to stop sound from traveling through them. There are also some surfaces which absorb these sounds. Let us test those materials. Let us first observe how different materials help reduce sound. We have a sound making device kept in this empty tissue paper box. Let us start the sound and measure the sound decibel it emits without any soundproofing materials. We will use an app to measure the sound levels. You can download free app of your choice from the App Store or Play Store. The sound making device is on and we have no barriers to reduce the sound. Let's try the different materials 
to check how much sound each material reduces. You will notice that the materials that absorb sound more are soft, while the materials that do not absorb sound, that is, they bounce the sound, are less soft. So, we observed that the tal followed by the cork are the best sound barriers to reduce the decibels. Multiple layers of these soft materials will help us reduce sound and achieve our soundproofing successfully. We will use multiple layers of the following materials cork, cotton balls, foam sheets, felt, some thick towels too. We will now wrap some of these materials around our box and see if we can drop the sound decibels to 30 or below. Measure the dimensions, width, height and length of the tissue box. Cut the first layer of cork board slightly more than the tissue box. Stick these cork sheets around the box with tape. Let us now use the decibel meter app or device to measure the sound decibels. Let us reduce the sound further. Let's use the foam sheets as our next layer. As shown earlier, cut the foam sheets a bit more than the dimensions of the previous layer. Wrap this around the first layer and stick with the tape. Monitor the sound decibels after we add each layer. Keep on adding layers of foam, cork and cotton balls Till we manage to reduce the sound levels to 30 decibels. You can wrap the box with felt and towel to reduce the sound levels.